Here is how you can make your own durable but exploding glass Prince Rupert's drop. All you'll need is a few things. First off, you'll need a torch. This will melt the glass. This is a map gas torch with a burnzomatic head on it. Just a normal torch. The second thing you'll need, fire extinguisher. If you're working with a torch, there is the chance that things will light on fire. So that's kind of a necessity. You'll need a glass with your water in it. You'll also need glass rods. These are borosilicate, also known as Pyrex, which is the name brand for them, glass rods. They will make drops. They're a lot harder to melt. They melt at about 1400 degrees Fahrenheit, while soda lime glass like this melts at 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is harder to melt and the drops, the tails don't always break. So I use soda lime glass. This is colored soda lime glass for um, used for fusing or glass bead making. And then I'll be melting this glass and dripping it into water. I start the flame over the water and then I introduce the tip of the glass into the flame. I will keep it spinning. I keep the glass spinning so all sides of it are getting hit by the flame. And I'm focusing the flame on the tip. I'm focusing the flame on the ball of glass that is starting to be melted. Eventually, once it's hot enough, that ball of glass will fall into the water. And then that makes a Prince Rupert's drop. I can then take out the Prince Rupert's drop from the water and there'll be a tail right here, a very thin tail. And I can break that and it will break the drop. And that's how you make a Prince Rupert's drop. If you liked this video, if you learned anything, hitting the like button would help, commenting, subscribing. If you don't wanna go through the effort of making your own Prince Rupert's drops, I sell them on Etsy just for you. Have a good day. Enjoy the video.